Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. I have put <laughs> this particular review off for a number of weeks because I feel like anytime I do a review of a product from The Ordinary, um, I typically don't have the best luck with the brand and The Ordinary fans are not super pleased with <laughs> what I have to say my experience is. And so there's just people that will come to the defense of no matter what it is. Um, and uh, I tend to get a lot of hate on those particular videos. So I am expecting that there will be some people disappointed with this review as well because it's, it's a little bit of a womp womp for me. So let me just kind of explain. Um, I have tried a number of products from The Ordinary. Um, when the brand kind of first came out, I ordered a bunch of things from the Decium website and really didn't have luck with a whole lot of the stuff. Um, there are uh, a few things, I will say, there are a few things that I think are good products and I will mention what those are at the end. So it's not all bad. <laughs> this is not just gonna be a bashing video. Um, but in general, The Ordinary is not a go-to brand for me. Um, I have found one of two things to be the case with the products that I have tried from The Ordinary. The first is that I just don't see the products doing anything for me. Um, I don't see the products really um, even maintaining progress that I have made with other skincare products. So my skin kind of tends to revert or um, I just don't notice anything at all. Or, and this is a big thing, the products make me break out. Um, I don't tend to break out very much at all at this point in my life. I do deal with enlarged pores and so blackheads are kind of my thing. But a lot of the products that I've tried from The Ordinary actually give me pimples or whiteheads. And that is going to be the case with the review today. So um, based on the title, you know the product. It is The Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% uh, plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation. So I have used what I would consider a fair amount. <laughs> I have tried this in a couple different areas. So I've tried this on my face and I've also tried it on my neck. Um, and I have had no luck with either location. Um, this product made me break out. I had whiteheads all over my face within a couple of days of starting this. Um, I stopped using it, it cleared up. I used my Paula's Choice BHA, which tends to help me clear up breakouts pretty quickly if I do have them. Um, I then decided to try it again on my face and again, broke out. Um, then I thought, okay, well, sometimes things just don't work for the face, right? Let me try it on my neck. It was actually worse on my neck. On my neck, I got outright pimples, not even whiteheads. And like the painful, like, deep kind and they were everywhere it was not just along my jaw it was everywhere I can actually still see some of like the red spots from um, when I use this and they're still kind of clearing up I'm using some products that are doing a pretty good job of getting rid of that hyperpigmentation that's left over from that but I can still see some of the red spots so um, I have looked at the ingredients. I don't know what could possibly be causing the breakouts. Um, I was actually sent this by my friend Susan, so I, I did not buy this. My friend Susan always sends me her uh, famous Le Kuchen Christmas cookies each year, and she included a bottle of this because for her, this is a really good, um, I don't want to say dupe, but alternative to Sunday Riley Good Jeans. She says that she sees very similar results, and so she wanted me to try it because I, I love Sunday Riley Good Jeans. That is something that I have repurchased a couple times. It's a very expensive product. However, for me, it is something that works incredibly well at um, helping to remove surface texture from my skin. It keeps my skin just looking very smooth, very bright. Um, it's a great product. In fact, I look forward to repurchasing it because I have missed it. I finished my last bottle of it a little while ago and um, I have really missed having that product in my lineup. So um, anyway, 
After reviewing the ingredients, I don't know what it could be, but I do know that I only started breaking out after incorporating this. As soon as I stopped using it, the breakouts cleared up. When I used it on my neck, the breakouts were awful. Um, for me, this is not going to be something that I will continue to use. Um, I just, I don't want to deal with the breakouts. I will say, I do think it might be worth trying because it is a really affordable product. You can find the Ordinary at a few different retailers now. Sephora carries them, Ulta does. Um, my Ulta actually carries a bunch of the Ordinary stuff in store. So um, it's very affordable. I believe this is $6.80, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, $6.80. It's a one ounce bottle. It's a glass bottle. Um, so let me just tell you what they say about the product. So um, they say that this is a high strength lactic acid peeling formula for smoother, healthier looking skin, mild and high strength superficial peeling formulation. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxyl acid that exfoliates the skin. This formulation offers very mild um, and mild exfoliation and is supported with a purified Tasmanian pepperberry known to reduce the signs of inflammation and sensitivity that is often associated with exfoliation. Um, the benefits of this, they say, it exfoliates the skin, it improves skin radiance, um, the line is cruelty-free and vegan, and everything is formulated without alcohol, oil, silicones, nuts, or gluten. So for that reason i do think this is worth trying and the vast majority of reviews on this are very good um there are a few people that have actually also said that it broke them out so i'm glad i'm not the only one um but the vast majority of people say that this helps to really um remove the texture from their skin um it leaves them hydrated and glowing Someone else said made their skin bumpy. Um, skin like glass, great, great gentle chemical exfoliant. So I gotta say, the vast majority of people love this, which I think is fantastic. So I think it's worth trying if you maybe want to look for a replacement of Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Um, I think it's worth trying. Worst case scenario, return it to Ulta if it makes you break out. So um, yeah not for me <laughs> yet another product that is not for me from um from the ordinary however a big thanks to susan for sending this out it was definitely worth looking into it's just it's not for me now let's let's talk about something positive i do have a few recommendations that i think are very much worth trying from the ordinary the first is their squalane cleanser I actually just finished up my first um, bottle of it. It is a wonderful pre-cleanse or first cleanse if you do a double cleanse. Um, it does such a good job of removing all of my makeup, of even removing mascara and stubborn eye makeup. Um, it's just a really great cleanser. I love Squalane. Um, that is definitely my go-to oil these days. I used to love Marula oil, but Squalane really is a better fit for my oily skin type. Um, so I would highly recommend checking that out. I think it's a really great product. It's probably actually one of my new like favorites, if I'm going to be totally honest. That's a really, really great product from The Ordinary. Next is their, um, what's it called? It's their glycolic toner. Yeah, the glycolic 7% toning solution. I finished an entire bottle of that and I thought it was really a great uh, exfoliator. Um, if you're someone who really enjoys a lot of the exfoliators from um, Paula's Choice, I found the results to be pretty similar from the ordinary one. So definitely check that out. Um, very mild, um, but definitely effective. So in terms of a... Um, like a chemical exfoliator, I would personally go to that one instead of this one because this just was not good for me. And then the last thing that I wanted to recommend, and this is a really great dupe for the Drunk Elephant um, TLC, uh, not TLC, the Baby Sukari, the Baby Facial, 
that one. Um, their AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. That product is really wonderful as well. In fact, I still have that in my collection and will take it out from time to time to use it. Um, it's only $7.20 and very, very effective. Um, mild, like not going to irritate your skin, but definitely effective in terms of providing some really great chemical exfoliation. So um, those would be my personal recommendations of products that I think are actually really worth trying from the ordinary. Most of the other stuff that I've tried just... It doesn't do it for me guys. I wish that it did because it would save me some money and I could blow my money on other things, but I just haven't had the type of luck that most other people have had with the brand. So anyway, hopefully <laughs> it helped that I'm leaving this video on a positive note. I really wish that I could have given this a positive review, but the breakouts are just a no-go for me. And um, I'm not going to I'm not going to continue to do that to myself. So testing phase is done and I will pass this along to somebody else in my family and see if they have better luck with it. I think it's definitely worth passing along. It's I'm not going to toss it in the garbage or anything because, like I said, there are a lot of people that really like the product. So it might work for somebody else. A big thanks to Susan for gifting this to me. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, so. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will put links for everything that I mentioned in the description box down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.